Gemini, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Welcome back and thank you for all your support and love. I'm grateful. Um, this is the oracle card reading. It's an energy reading, not a horoscope. So it applies for Gemini sun, moon, rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, yada, yada, whatever Gemini influences your natal chart this energy and these themes will apply. It can also apply to Gemini outside of your natal chart. So if you're dealing with a Gemini, this energy applies. Um, it always comes along with an extended reading. So the extended reading um, sort of um, goes into specifics and gets into the nitty gritty and personalizes these energies. It kind of um, almost um, puts it into more of a 3D context and it includes a romance specific reading as well. So please do uh, check that out. The link is below. Um, I upload a new Gemini specific video every single week. So if you want it fresh off the press, please subscribe to the channel. You will help the channel grow and you'll be able to get the videos as soon as I upload them if you ring that bell. Okay, Gemini, let's get into your reading. Ooh, something felt wrong. Something felt off. Hold on, Gemini. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Gemini, Gemini. Gemini, Gemini. Gemini, Gemini. Gemini. Yeah, but like he's also there. Um, hold on. Crowning your reading is three combined energies. So just give me a second. We have be playful, energy of five plus one, which is a uh, six. That's love. It's love. It's connection. Um, and then we have turtle in reverse, slow and steady wins the race. Um, be playful and yet at the same time, there's a fast pace here. It's like being quick, quick. Uh, you want, um, you want excitement. That's what it is. This is, this is playful. This is kind of shallow. This is, um, connection, human connection in a shallow way on the surface, kind of rushed or you don't really, in some ways, for some reason, you're not willing to wait anymore. You don't, you don't want to continue to go slow, but you need things to continue to stay light and then be here now but it's in reverse. So there is a balance. There's a, there's a sense of a partnership in somehow, um, a, a partnership maybe from the past. It could be a partner from the past coming back or um, it could very well be not being able to be in the presence, a uh, present tense. Like that's, that's kind of what it is, a partnership that has somehow um, doesn't exist anymore or doesn't exist yet. So Right now, it's like you're rushing toward it. It's very exciting. You have high hopes for something. Let's put it that way. You have high hopes for something that you definitely want, whether it has been yours in the past or whether it's coming to you. You can feel it. There's sort of a connection. You've already zoned in on it. You know what it is. You know what you want. But simultaneously, it is not yours yet. So this is what is inspiring you this week. However, there is a caveat. And that caveat is it needs to stay light. It needs to stay light and it needs to stay exciting and it needs to stay quick. It can't, I don't think that this is something that you even want to acknowledge your commitment to yet. I don't know if you don't want to announce your commitment. I'm not talking about romantic commitment or marriage or anything. I'm talking about you might not want to, you might not want to put your name on a project yet. You might not want to put your name on the list for your boss yet. You, you're excited about it. You know, you want to belong to it, but simultaneously it has not, you have not completely like said, Yes, me, you know, like, let it be for me. I, in other words, I do feel things picking up for you and going quickly and moving quickly and moving your way, the way that you like them. But simultaneously, we haven't arrived there yet. Okay, so that's your crowning energy. What's coming afterward, Gemini, is make your dreams real. 
Here you go. If you look at the spider really, really close, you see she's got a crown on. That's crown. That's grandmama energy. This is a sense of um, getting your crown on, making sure that you're the one pulling the strings, not somebody else. You want to feel in control of the circumstance. You could actually be setting a trap or you could be tied to some sort of almost... Let me get into this because I'm going to see what the rest of the cards are. But this could also be some sort of ancestral bonds and some sort of like trying to weave forward or bring forward tradition, um, trying to uh, hold tight to it or hold fast to it or some sort of just connection, connection to the past. Really interesting with the crowning energy because be here now is in reverse, which also suggests the past. It could be the past or something that hasn't arrived yet. Us, hold on. Before I talk, I want to get this energy out, Gemini. Know your worth. Five plus four is nine. Something is coming out. And it's a truth or it's a reality. This is, and this could also be a stinker in your presence. Kind of it really stinking your feeling of being tied up or held back or, or obligated somehow to some very manipulative energy that has to do with a mother or a grandmother. Some kind of obligatory, like pulling the strings, a little marionette kind of thing that where, where you just want to be yourself. You don't want to smell like a fresh little flower. You don't want to have to be like, you know, all kinds of prim and perfect. You don't, you don't want that what you want is your own ability to sort of stink it up if you want to um and it could very well be that it's it stinks that somebody is trying to over schedule you and over manipulate you believe in yourself but it's coming out in reverse this is uh virgo energy now virgo energy is very um Ooh, it's very fastidious. You know, it's it's very it's very scheduled. It's hard working. It's it can be it can come off as very serious and very worrisome, very worried, very paranoid. But it's coming out in reverse. Now, five plus seven equals twelve, which adds up to three. Um, this is a sense of things being unbalanced, a feeling like too many obligations have already been set up for you, and you haven't been able to have any say in what those obligations are. It's almost like, can you just let me? be let me free it's almost like I don't want to know what my future is I don't want it all dictated or planned for me I want excitement I want adventure I want spontaneity but there's some sort of obligation here uh somebody has already planted the seeds and in some ways you just want to rip it up and move on you don't you don't want it you feel tied down by it and tethered by it and there's a sense um there's a sense gemini um that it's 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 chipping away at your faith in yourself it's almost like why don't you believe in me why don't you believe that i can handle it it's being perceived or you're perceiving it as clearly you don't have faith in me because you have everything dictated and you've already made all the decisions and you don't want to believe that I can figure it out for myself or at least that's what you're feeling like that this micromanagement which is very Virgo energy and it can be very scorpionic energy which is that spider energy of just sort of being manipulated or over or over planned or stuck in a web in a pattern that existed before you know, you were even around and it kind of, to be honest with you, it kind of fucking stinks. That's, that's kind of what you feel. Um, and here we are, be loyal to what you love. Mm -mm. No, this is your central energy. So this is your sense of that. I don't want to be loyal to what I love. This is disloyalty. This is lack of loyalty, but this is like sort of the price you're willing to pay for freedom. This is a sense of walking away, leaving, uh, taking off or, and, and what's sad is you see it as disloyalty. You see it as, because there is a feeling of, I've let somebody down. Um, I've let them down and I don't like that I've let them down, but simultaneously, if I don't let them down, then I get stuck being what they want instead of what I want. But in a way, it could also be a betrayal of yourself. And let me discuss that with you. Because sometimes um, with the Gem with your Gemini energy, wherever the placements are, it's so focused on um, you know staying light and being spontaneous or living in the now, living in the moment, that you almost abandon opportunities for the future or wonderful opportunities with wonderful people or just wonderful opportunities in general because of that how easily suffocated you can start you can you can get. 
And then all of a sudden it's just like, okay, I'm out of here, but you may have missed something. So it could very well be that it's, um, it could very well be that it's almost Gemini, like, like you're sort of doubling back on yourself in some ways. Um, there is always enough. This is Piscean energy. Once again, this is feeling smothered and feeling like, uh, there isn't enough. There isn't enough emotion here. And I think that that's really what's at the heart of this. Ultimately, when things don't feel good for you anymore, when they don't interest you anymore, it, your emotion starts to dissipate. And that's the truth. And that may be what you're trying to suppress because, it, you know, you'd almost rather be tagged disloyal than um, really be, have to uh, tell somebody that I don't really care about this any anymore. I don't really care about this opportunity anymore. Um, my heart isn't in it anymore. Um, that's that kind of energy. Yeah. Um, transformation is beautiful. So this is awakening, um, going through a change in your life and deciding to become something very different than what you started out as. Um, going from that caterpillar to the butterfly, this is turning into something that was land bound, like something that was, this could be a very transitional time in your life for you. I don't know if it's your Saturn return, but it's almost like a maturation period, like going from old to young, like young to old type of thing. It's like not old, but like, um, um, growing up, like, like you need to spread your wings and fly. That's that feeling. It's like, I'm ready to spread my wings and fly. And I can't be held down by these obligations that it seems like your family has put in place for you. It seems like a familiar obligation or obligations to family. Um, be generous of spirit. This is an energy of 10 as well, which is your central energy and energy of 10. Um, it could be some sort of rebellion against growing up, rebellion against added responsibility, uh, really wanting to take care of yourself, thinking of the future, thinking of like, this is Leo energy. So it could be a little bit egotistical, but this is upright Leo energy. So this is a sense of a strong sense of self and where your heart is. And right now, it just doesn't seem like your heart is where everybody else wants your heart to be. And that's the, the rubbing that's going on here. Um, there might be some guilt tripping going on, uh, especially if you're dealing with family. Um, that it's almost like you don't see, ooh, you could be thinking about going far, far away and wishing that you could go far, far away, but being stuck right now, a lot of us, depending on where you are in the world, a lot of us are stuck in quarantine. So you could feel like you need to get out, you need to get away. It, it, it's, you're too close to the warden right now. And, and what you really need is just time away to discover who you are again and find yourself and finding yourself isn't going to be easy around people who have already decided who you are and that's 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 what your challenge is this week is fighting against or being in that close proximity that's almost like that suffocating proximity to the people who ex have ex expectations and they listen it's not necessarily um, people that you don't love. And that, I think that's the problem. It's people that you actually do care about a great deal. Um, but at the same time, it's like, maybe they're not your tribe, <laughs> you know, maybe you need to go find something else. Um, but like I said, there is a sense of that fear mechanism, that fear sinking in that's like, so overdoing it on the rebellion. So that could be just like a little bit of a warning to not, to not throw the baby out with the bathwater that kind of energy of maybe you don't want to throw everything away um, and be more, like I said, that Virgo energy of be, be more almost pedantic with going through things before you get rid of everything. Do I, is this really garbage or do I just want like all the weight off me right now? Um, but don't throw the baby out with the bathwater because it'll be, you'll have big regrets later when you wake up from this, like, you know, fr uh, in, like, in, <laughs> almost like freedom insanity time, right? Uh, I need freedom now, I need freedom now. I'm, I'm too bound up, I'm, I need freedom now. And so it gets to be sort of like its own temporary psychosis. And when you wake up, will you know where you are? You know, Cancer Cancerians do that kind of stuff with anger. You know, we get like all of a sudden we, we get flashes of anger because we've suppressed it, we've suppressed it, we've suppressed it. 
And then we like explode and we don't even know what's happening. And I think that this, a similar thing happens with you guys where you, you try to conform, you try to conform, you try to like make things work for longer than you're comfortable. And then all of a sudden it's like the freedom explodes out of you and you end up running away from everything, including those things that you actually wanted to keep in your life. Um, and this is like tight family bonds, some sort of, yeah, like some sort of, um, weaving or a tapestry that's been going on for a long time and there is a sense of great responsibility to that um but at the and feeling of being disloyal if you decided to walk away from it grounding your energy is dream the world now see grounding your energy is definitely the fear of the zombies taking over like this this dead thing holding you down of of being held back in the past and your past uh, sort of engulfing you and bringing you down with it and stuff like you want to look toward the future but it's like that past those ghosts from the past are holding you back uh sweet results await so this is hard at work on something um looking toward the future because this is leo energy too so you got both leo cards so you have a strong sense of self and you have your own plans and that's the issue. Your plans are crashing, clashing with other people's plans for you. Um, reclaim your power. You're feeling drained. And I think that that's what's really bogging you down right now. That as hard as you work, it almost seems like you're treading water. You're not feeling like you're gaining any momentum. You're not feeling like you're getting anywhere. And it's like almost like there's always somebody sitting right back there behind there to say to you, see, I told you it wasn't going to work. It's like, can you stop using my failures against me? Because, you know, uh, success is a series of failures that you kept trying over and over again. You know what I'm saying? It's like, stop using... Um, every single time that I fail or I mess up, stop using it as the reason why I shouldn't be doing what you don't want me to do because it's BS. Um, and then love is all around you. Yeah, once again, feeling smothered, feeling like you're being talked badly about. This is your own energy in reverse. So this is a sense of feeling disconnected, feeling like you can't communicate with the people around you because you just aren't understood. And this may not be their fault. They might not be malicious people. It just may be that you're having a hard time articulating to them what you feel or what you want. It just may mean that you may need to take some more time, Gemini, to understand it yourself, you know, because clearly you do know what's important to you and you do know what you want to work on, but it just seems like you're surrounded or feel like you're surrounded by people who don't want to do anything but throw stones at you as soon as something goes wrong because it doesn't add up to their expectations. And that's really that's really mean. That's really mean shit, to be honest with you. Um, let me flip the camera angle around. Okay, hold on. And here you go. There's your energy. And see, right in the center is be loyal to what you love. Now, this is Cancerian energy, so it can feel this could be this this could feel like you're almost like remember, Cancer rules the fourth house. And that's why I say it's something very close to home, domestic and maternal that you could feel very, very, very manipulated by, very drained by a sense of that devouring mother kind of energy. It's like, aren't you supposed to be building me up? Why are you tearing me down? Now, it doesn't have to be your mother. You could be dealing with a Cancerian. It could be not a Cancerian at all. It could be somebody that you would expect, but it is the energy of somebody you expect to be nurturing, loving, and unconditionally loving, like a dog. Dog spirit is an unconditional love, right? Um, but this is in reverse. So there's a lots of conditions on this love. And you feel like, and, and that's part of your biggest issue is like, Okay, so basically if I go my own direction and do what I love and do what I want to do, I'm going to be abandoned and I'm not going to have any support, right? So it's like I know what I want, but I also feel like I'm totally empty. I'm totally empty and I'm totally out in, in the fucking wild where people are going to be attacking me all the time. That's kind of the energy that you feel like constantly, like, like you're in constant persecution for what you dream and what how you see your life um yeah let's go into the tarot let's go into the tarot card right now um we're gonna pull out more information because there's definitely more to this story and go into how this may affect of course your love life gemini that extended link is below i will see you guys over there